People's Republic of China, which is increasingly challenging the United States economically, technologically, politically, and militarily around the world remains our unparalleled priority. Picture a colossal showdown between the U.S. and China. China, nothing matters more than restoring its place in the world as a great power. Now here's the twist. China's not relying on traditional weapons like guns or bombs to leave a lasting mark. According to a recent report, China has mastered the art of influencing crucial aspects of the U.S., such as electricity, water, phones, and logistical systems. It's similar to possessing a hidden superpower, the ability to infiltrate computer systems. With a mere few clicks, China could cast America into darkness, not through explosive blasts, but by manipulating the lights out with sophisticated computer tactics. U.S.-China tensions all-time high. Tension. Friction. War in the Indo-Pacific region. Today's episode will cover how China has the power of bringing down the U.S. military instantly with the click of a button. Tensions are escalating in the Pacific between the U.S. and China. Are you worried about a potential war between the U.S. and China? Of course, we will be caught in the middle. Who do you think is a bigger threat to the Philippines, the U.S. or China? China. In the face of potential conflict between the United States and China, recent revelations suggest that China possesses the capability to strategically outmaneuver the U.S. military without resorting to conventional warfare. According to reports, China is actively enhancing its ability to disrupt critical American infrastructure, including power grids, water facilities, communication networks, and transportation systems through sophisticated cyber warfare tactics. This shift not only showcases China's technological prowess, but also positions it as a formidable force in reshaping the dynamics of modern geopolitical conflicts. The idea of China potentially exerting influence over a superpower through cyber means adds a layer of intrigue and prompts consideration of the broader implications. How does this newfound capability alter the power dynamics in the international arena? Reports from the Washington Post indicate that hackers affiliated with China's People's Liberation Army have successfully breached the defenses of approximately two dozen critical entities over the past year. Unlike previous cyber activities primarily centered around political and economic espionage, these recent incursions are strategically aimed at inducing panic and chaos or snarl logistics in the event of a U.S.-China conflict in the Pacific. The shift from conventional espionage to strategic infrastructure disruption underscores China's innovative approach to modern conflict. One might wonder, how does this method align with China's broader strategic goals, and what advantages does it provide in a geopolitical context? Among the targeted entities, a water utility in Hawaii, a major West Coast port, and an oil and gas pipeline have experienced cyber attacks. The attempted infiltration of the Texas power grid operator adds to the audacity of China's cyber warfare capabilities. While there has been no significant damage so far, these attacks on Hawaii suggest a calculated move by China to undermine U.S. efforts in deploying military assets in the Pacific region. The U.S. government detected a cyber campaign named Volt Typhoon over a year ago, coinciding with the deterioration of U.S.-China relations. Despite close-call intercepts of U.S. spy planes by Chinese fighter jets, communication channels between the two nations remained dormant for over a year. The recent decision by Presidents Joe Biden and Xi Jinping to re-establish these channels reflects China's commitment to diplomatic dialogue, highlighting a diplomatic victory. The resumption of communication channels after a prolonged period of silence raises questions about the nature of China's diplomatic strategy. How do you think China can leverage diplomacy in conjunction with cyber capabilities to advance its geopolitical interests? Let's find out. Brandon Wales, Executive Director of the Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, emphasizes the significance of these cyber attacks, suggesting that they are pre-positioning China strategically. The goal is not just espionage, but to disrupt or destroy critical infrastructure in the event of a conflict, potentially impeding U.S. power projection into Asia and causing societal chaos. 
Morgan Adamski, director of the National Security Agency's Cybersecurity Collaboration Center, confirms the focus of Volt Typhoon on targets within the Indo-Pacific region, aligning with China's military strategies. The annual threat assessment by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, ODNI, further solidifies China's position as the most active and persistent cyber espionage threat to U.S. networks. The alignment of cyber threats with military strategies reflects China's holistic approach to modern warfare. How does this integration redefine the traditional notions of conflict, and what advantages does it give to China in shaping the geopolitical landscape? The answer is, tons of advantages. China might have just discovered a key to winning a future conflict. According to the ODNI report, China's capability to launch cyber attacks capable of disrupting critical infrastructure services within the U.S. is a significant concern. In the face of an imminent conflict, China might resort to aggressive cyber operations, targeting not only military assets, but also critical infrastructure such as oil and gas pipelines and rail systems. Joe McReynolds, a China Security Studies Fellow at the Jamestown Foundation, sheds light on internal Chinese documents outlining the potential use of cyber tools in conflicts. Military strategists envision synchronizing air and missile strikes with the disruption of command and control networks, critical infrastructure, satellite networks, and military logistic systems, particularly in scenarios like amphibious invasions. The meticulous planning and integration of cyber tools into military strategy showcase China's strategic foresight. One might think, how does this calculated approach give China an edge in potential conflicts, and what countermeasures can other nations adopt? Jonathan Condra, a threat researcher at security company Recorded Future, highlights the secrecy surrounding the Chinese cyber attacks. The clandestine nature of these operations suggests that China is keen on concealing the extent of its capabilities from the U.S., raising questions about the true extent of the cyber arsenal at China's disposal. To what extent is China's secrecy a strategic advantage in the realm of cyber warfare, and how does this impact the ability of other nations to respond effectively? In May, Microsoft revealed the Volt Typhoon infiltrating critical infrastructure in Guam, a crucial territory in the U.S.'s Pacific defense strategy. Given Guam's proximity to the contested Taiwan Strait, these hacks pose a direct threat to U.S. interests in the region. The ODNI report further emphasizes China's global leadership in surveilling and censoring its population, extending its cyber intrusions to target not only U.S. citizens but also individuals worldwide who oppose the narratives, policies, and actions of the Chinese Communist Party CCP. The ODNI report reveals Beijing's intensified efforts to mold U.S. public discourse, particularly by shaping views on sensitive issues such as Taiwan, Xinjiang, Tibet, and Hong Kong. The Chinese government monitors overseas Chinese students for dissident views, mobilizes student associations to act on its behalf, and influences research by U.S. academics and think tank experts to stifle criticism. But before you take this report seriously, Keep in mind that this is the same U.S. who remained the only one to vote for the continuation of genocide in Gaza. United States talks about interests in the name of human rights is absolutely out of the window now and should not be taken seriously. China has revealed its stance on the Israeli genocide multiple times by urging a ceasefire. U.S. to blame China on targeting civilians worldwide just doesn't make any sense and reveals its pure hypocrisy. All in all, the evolving landscape of cyber warfare showcases China's adeptness in utilizing these capabilities to achieve strategic objectives. The integration of cyber tools into military strategies, the potential disruption of critical infrastructure, and the global reach of cyber intrusions emphasize China's position as a leading force in shaping the future of modern conflicts. With much about how China has the power of bringing down the U.S. military instantly with the click of a button covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below, and we will cover them for you.